Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer Seeger and you are watching The Seeger Stories. Uh, today's video, I thought I'd do one of the what's in my bag videos. I've been watching YouTube for years. My channel is relatively new, but one of the things that I love to watch as a consumer of YouTube videos is the what's in my bag or packing with me, cleaning with me, those kinds of things. So I thought I would do one today because I am actually switching out my purses, which I tend to do not terribly often. I have kind of a couple go-tos that I go back and forth between in the winter and then the same thing in the summer and I kind of switch them out spring and fall. So this is the bag um, that I have been using for quite a few months. I actually bought this in October and I have another similar style one that I use um, throughout the winter um, but I'm going to transfer completely to this is a newer one that I picked up. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, the brand is, is it The Sack or yeah The Sack. Um, just a backpack style with the straps, which I really like for summer. And this one had a few different pockets, um, kind of for easy access cell phone, um, couple in the front, kind of zippered pocket across the top, and then on the side here for summer um, that I thought would be good because in the summer, I guess last year wasn't really a typical summer, but normal summers, and I hope this year is more like normal or going different places, and it's nice to have a backpack I don't have to carry. Or my other go-to in the summer is this, it's, Bagalini is the brand, and I'll see if I can find something to link below like all of these, um, but I usually go to TJ Maxx, and this one I think I got um, like new at a secondhand store. It's just got some pockets um, on the inside and then a couple front ones on the outside, and it's got this nice long crossbody. So again, more summertime hands-free, um, but this one is quite a bit smaller than like a big bag that I usually take in fall and winter. Um, the backpack has a little more room, but it's not structured or set up the same. So I feel like I kind of need to reorg or downsize when I switch purses. Um, but I thought I'd take the time to show you what is in my bag. And starting with, I got this, and I'll link it below because I purchased it on Amazon, this bag organizer. And it's really handy because I actually just... Um, I have a couple different winter purses I go between. It's got all these pockets. Um, this is just kind of like a really thick felt, so it stands on its own, and it just sits in the bottom. So for the most part, I just move this from bag to bag. Um, also, what doesn't fit in the organizer is in there. I keep a baggie um, of just black masks from Amazon. I picked up like 50 of them, and I just have these. Um, to put on in between things and then I also have um, my mask I have two of these this is the pattern that I love the most my mother made them for me um, so I wear these over the black mask so I can kind of dispose of these and I don't have to wash this one as often plus the CDC had recommended like two masks is better than one I guess so I've been wearing two since I heard that um, I also have in this bag not I'll go through what's in the organizer but in this bag um, just this little, it's from my dentist office. It's just got floss, um, toothbrush. This is kind of a weird thing. This is the hose that they will put like to suck the spit out of your mouth at the dentist. But, um, this is a weird thing. I have Invisalign, so they actually recommend that you, um, bite down to kind of seat the Invisalign. I'm not wearing them right now because I can talk a little better in a video without wearing it, but, um, to kind of, you when you find time, especially in the beginning, kind of chew on it to make sure that you're getting the most out of your Invisalign. So I have this little zippy with just a couple different kinds of floss and toothpaste and toothbrush um, because when you're wearing Invisalign, you actually have to take them out to eat and then floss and brush. Um, so especially, um, again, pre-COVID when we were eating out, it was like super annoying to go to the restroom after we would eat in a restaurant and brush my teeth um, whenever I'm out, I need to do that. Um, also for, if I can get it out of my bag here, um, it is really stuck in there. I have this just case, um, for Invisalign. They're not in there. Actually, I'm in a terrible habit of as gross as it is. They're like sitting on the bathroom sink, but, um, when I'm out and about eating, I can put my teeth in there. Nate and I call them my teeth. <laughs> like I'm older. Um, I have a few more things just hanging out in the pocket here um, some hand sanitizer this was my favorite brand I don't know if you can see it it's really 
kind of bright lighting there. Um, it's the Up and Up brand from Target. And right after the pandemic hit, I couldn't get this anymore, but it's the scent that I like the most and I like the size bottle. So we ended up finding these like industrial size bottle of Purell and I've just been filling these up. Um, I have a COVID vaccine card. I need to get that laminated now that I've got my second shot I got over the weekend. Um, and this is just, this is in my bag because it is this necklace that Nate gave me. Actually, I think of it kind of as the wedding gift he gave me because it's really nice. It's got, um, I'm trying to get it to focus in here so you can see. Um, it's got diamonds on it and it's actually from the place where he got my engagement ring and it kind of hangs sideways there. Um, but it's on this little paint chip right now because the clasp actually broke. Uh, so this is a crazy story. I was, I ne I hardly ever take this off, like sometimes to sleep, but I will even sleep in this. So uh, we were getting ready, um, or we went to my niece's confirmation last weekend and I had, I knew I hadn't taken it off the night before because I was super tired going to bed. So I knew that I had been wearing it, but I couldn't exactly remember. My lighting is going crazy here. Hold on. I'm not sure if I fixed my lighting or not, but. So I remembered that I had worn it to bed the night before and couldn't remember if I wore it or not when I was leaving the house. And then I happened to notice, like I went in the restroom after we left the church and everything and it wasn't on and I was just in a panic. I was tearing through the car and then I'd almost convinced myself that I hadn't put it on that morning or maybe I'd taken it off cause it was kind of, it was sitting a little different with the neckline of the dress that I was wearing. Um, finally, I, tore, I came home that night, I tore the house apart and finally asked my sister-in-law to call the church and the lovely woman that went and looked um, found it in the pew. So I was so relieved. Like I'd been praying for like a couple days that we would just find it. So I'm going to go have like an industrial strength clasp and chain put on this thing. Um, it was a little bit too big for me too. So they're going to tighten it up. Um, but I need to go and take that in. So that's why it's in my purse. Um, and I apologize. The lighting is just kind of crazy. I think the sun keeps coming in and out behind a cloud and I'm sitting in front of the window. So anyway, so next up, that's everything that was in my bag, not in this case. So this thing holds a lot. Um, and it's kind of sad because I don't think I can transfer it as easy to a backpack and things. So, uh, I'm just going to show you what's in here and then I'm going to try to just stuff it into, I have just this um, case. I think this was a freebie with something from Ulta Beauty at one point, but I'm going to try to, um, not downsize, but get everything into this. So I just have a couple pouches, um, in my purse. Oh, also <laughs> you're probably wondering how I pay for things. Um, I have a wallet. This is my favorite wallet. I'm in love with it. It's Kate Spade. I got it at an outlet mall quite a few years ago. It's getting really like, you can see scuffed up on the front. I have smaller ones I use when I travel, but this is my everyday wallet. So love that. Um, anyway, let's look at what else I carry in my bag. So this is one of my favorite things in the world. I am all about just using regular, get it to focus there, uh, shea butter. And I get these from Ulta. They kind of have them up in their front bins. Um, it's just by the body shop shea butter. I love the smell and my get really, really dry hands in the winter. So this is, I think the second one I went through uh, this winter and it's almost empty. So I won't use it as much in the summer, but I'll still keep it with me. Um, of course, keep a nail file, nothing special. I just buy packs of cheapy ones. This is the labels kind of coming off, but this is my absolute favorite, uh, lip balm that I use. It's, it's just really, it goes on smooth. I think it's called smoothness. So if that makes sense, um, it's Nivea is the brand. There's no, um, color or really anything to it. Kind of Say, um, senseless, I almost said tasteless as well. Um, I do keep this, this is an NYX brand um, powder puff. I absolutely love this um, brand of lip gloss and it's got kind of a, I don't know if you can see it, kind of a fuzzy tip so you squeeze it and it comes up, it's just a, a lipstick. So I do have that for a little color. I haven't used it much this year because when we're out, I'm always wearing a mask. So what is the point of that? Um, also in kind of the beauty column, I usually carry one of these just a spoolie and these I get free. I get my lashes done actually because I was born without eyelashes. I swear I don't have eyelashes, but, um, I use the spoolie just if they get tangled or whatnot. Um, and amazing lash studios where I get mine done. 
don't know all their locations, but they are a chain at least here in the Twin Cities area. So they give these out for free, which is great. Um, I mentioned I have the floss with the toothbrush and toothpaste, but I also carry these placards. Um, I just picked them up at Walmart and I think this is where I got the carrying case too and then I just refill this. They're just these little um, kind of wands. I don't know if it helped or made it worse that my hand was in the way there um, with a little bit of floss in them. So, um, and then you can bend it out and have a little toothpick. So I'm always getting stuff caught in my teeth. That was a pre Invisalign and one of the things Invisalign is making better, but I would just terrible, always have stuff in my teeth. So um, I carried these for quite a while. Um, I have two of these because they are hard to come by. They're just the Clorox. I used to get them in the Target travel section all the time. And the last few times I've looked, they've just been out, I assume, due to COVID. But I always had liked to have these and I had a couple on hand to just, if you're going out to eat, wiping down a table, especially if we're maybe out on a walk and gonna do a picnic, something now, like wipe that down. So I always try to have those with me. Um, I have this lint roller by Flint is the brand. And I think I got these on Amazon years ago. So I'll link it below. Um, I used to have them when I had a cat because <laughs> there was always cat fur, but we have a non-shedding dog, so it's not as bad. Um, but it's just like the sticky that you peel off and they twist up and you can buy the replacements too. So that's pretty handy. And then it's always concealed. So the stickiness isn't getting all over everything in your purse. Um, this, oh my gosh, have you ever tried one of the wet brushes? And it's so gross because it's covered in my hair. So sorry about that. I should have probably cleaned it out before I'm showing you. Um, I won't go too detailed, but it's just a little travel brush. And this thing, there's like a little black button on the back that you, oh, if I can do it, push it out um, to have your bristles there. I actually got this, um, I, my friends threw me a personal shower. And I actually got this as one of my gifts, like with a bunch of toiletries, and I absolutely love it. I carry it everywhere. Um, also in this little thing, I carry, remember when like there was this craze like 2019 where they're like, you're never gonna get a straw ever again, you should carry your straws. Um, so I actually, that year for Christmas, the company I was working for gave us a gift of these, it's just a metal telescopic straw that comes with a metal telescopic cleaner, which is super crazy random. Um, and I think I've used it like once or twice because again, um, with like Starbucks, which I don't go to very often, but this lighting is just so crazy. Hold please. Technical difficulties all over the place today. Okay. I adjusted the lighting. So maybe that's a little bit better to see, but, um, anyway, disposable straw or not disposable, reusable straws. And they come in this handy little container. I think the brand says, oh, I cannot read that. Kicker land, I think. I'll see if I can find it and I will, if I find it, I will link it below. Um, but I got one from the company I was <laughs> working for at the time and I actually asked the gal where she got it because I thought it was so cute and it was just this little boutique store that was actually close to my house, oddly enough. So I went and picked up another one. I want to say they were like $7.99, maybe $9.99. Um, because I thought we'd be using them all the time and I wanted to have one for Nate if the situation came up and it really hasn't come up too much. I like to use a straw for coffee just for keeping teeth white purposes and I think I've used it like once going through Starbucks when I forgot to ask for a straw. So I'm not really great at the whole reusable straw things, but straw thing, but I have them along. Um, keep just a pen and i guess i had another pen in pocket um when we went on our honeymoon to the dominican we had to like stop and declare stuff as we were i can't remember if it was we were coming in or we were leaving probably yeah it would have been leaving duh um so they had this little kiosk you had to fill out this card before you could go stand in the line and we didn't have a pen and we stood there asking people to use their pen and people were literally saying to us like no i'm in a hurry no, no, you can't. No, it's my pen. And this was like pre COVID germs, you know, like, I guess I'd get it a little bit more now, but we weren't thinking like that back in 2018. And nobody would let us use this pen. So we were standing this kiosk and we we're like almost getting nervous that we're going to miss our flight, which is a whole other story that we didn't miss our flight. Um, 
but because the flight was delayed now I kind of opened the door so I have to tell you our flight was delayed due to like a part missing in the door and we sat on the tarmac for like three hours but uh, we were worried legit we were gonna miss this flight because we had to declare something and we had no pen and it was like forever until people took pity on us so since that date I have vowed to always have a pen on my person especially while traveling so not surprising I had two pens in there but anyway so moving on um, this is kind of a unique fun thing and I can't even tell you where I got this because I feel like I've legit had this for 20 years like forever I've had this um, it's just this little pouch I'm gonna take it out but I'm not gonna put it back on camera um, so this little pouch and this fits inside and I use it all the time so it actually folds back up because it's this really really thin material I'll see what I can find like it to link it online but it's a pretty decent sized kind of shopping bag that comes in handy if you know like if you get like a little bag, like you get that little paper bag that doesn't have a handle or something. And this is totally, it's got a long shoulder strap. So it fits over your shoulder. So I've had this forever and I always carry it around because it packs down so super tiny. Um, and then in this whole, I love this organizer because it has this one little compartment that perfectly holds um, my sunglasses. These are I think he got them on Amazon, so I'll link it below. These Kate Spade sunglasses, and Nate got these for me for Christmas um, two years ago, maybe it was. Um, I might have hinted strongly. They might have been on my wish list because I just love the inside. If you can see, like it's super fun and cute, and this is the only shape that fits my eye. Like I can't do aviators or things. I look ridiculous, but these work for me. And then it came with just this super cute um I don't know if it's cute, but super handy anyway. Um, lens white thing. Ooh, that was loud. Um, and then lastly, I guess, oh, I guess I had some tissues floating down in there. And then lastly, I had this um, that I used. It actually, you guessed it, came with the purse. Um, so I used to use something different, but this fits really well in the organizer and holds a lot of random small things. Um, things that I need a lot of in the summer. I love these. Um, I didn't always use this brand. I can't remember what I used to use, but these work really well too. It is so bright. Um, maybe I'll back up a little. They're NYX. They're just um, tea tree blotting papers. I don't have too much trouble with shine, but I feel like in the summer, everyone has a day. So you want to have those. Um, Shout wipe. Um, I use these. I like them better than the Tide pens because I have the Tide pens. I've used them before and I feel like they start to stink after a while has anybody else experienced that so I like the shout wipes um, I have the lens cloth that goes with my sunglasses but this is just um, it's the up and up target brand I like these especially again this isn't especially in the summer thing because sometimes or a lot of times when you're outside you end up getting sunscreen or insect repellent or something on the lens of your glasses and I don't want to use a cloth that I don't wash very often to do that so I like these they're little disposables and I usually have a few um on hand but I only have one in here so I guess that's something I need to replenish as I'm going through um these are little I'll link these below if you haven't heard of them I can't think of what they're called like maybe poppets containers they're little oh that sun is just the death of me today. Um, but they're little containers, you squeeze them and you can have your pills. I have Tylenol in here right now. Um, and then it just clicks shut again, but they're pretty spill proof, like you can't twist this or anything. So um, these are wonderful for travel. I really only carry um, Tylenol and then I have another one that is empty right now that I will put like an allergy med or sometimes a cold med depending on the time of year or if we're traveling or whatnot. Um, I don't get bad allergies, but Nate sometimes does, especially if we are at somebody's house that has a pet, you know, not to, to be rude or say anything to them. He will just discreetly take like a Claritin or Zyrtec or something, see if that clears it up. Um, this is an odd thing and I got this I don't know, it was like one of those trinkets you get at a giveaway, like career, something, not career fair, but you know, like for your job, you'll go to different um, conferences. I couldn't think of the word. And they'll have like little trinkets to give away. And this is one that I got. It's from a contracting company. It makes a ratchety noise. But it's just like, they have these two for, at like Joanne's Fabrics, um, just a tape measure. And I, 
I like having it along just because if I see something, you know, we're looking for a shelf to go in a closet and I know I need the shelf to be 32 inches, um, then I can measure something if I find it, if it's cute or I don't know, it's come in handy. So just keep it in there. Um, fingernail clipper, um, not that groundbreaking. Um, what else do I have? Okay. I always have <laughs> a tweezer and this is a girl moment, but, um, sometimes you have those like stray hairs that are like really light colored. Am I alone in this? Um, and I have a friend that gave me the idea to always look in the car because you'll never get as good a lighting in your bathroom or anywhere as you will get in the car. So just always carries a tweezers comes in handy. Um, and then sustain complete is what I use, especially, um, because gosh, that lighting, it's like so blown out here and I can't get it to show up, but, um, it's sustain complete, um, just for dry eyes and it works really well. If you're a contacts wearer, I am not actually supposed to wear contacts that often. My eyes just kind of reject them. I can get eye ulcers or infections really easily and I'm terrible about it in the summer because I want to wear them when I'm outdoors um, so I can wear my sunglasses and whatnot. Um, so I always have that on hand, especially important in summer. And then the last thing I have in this little pouch, um, which I might need to replace because it looks like it's got quite old, um, is just a blister thing. I probably should have two, um, but these are um, Compede, it says is the brand, but they're like a gel patch. So if you get like a blister on your ankle or excuse me, your heel, I think it would be just kind of that. That's where I tend to get them above my heel on the tendon going up. So this is just something and I should probably replenish and throw another one in there um, in case I'm out and about, get blisters. It doesn't ruin the whole day. So that is everything that's in my bag. Um, hopefully it'll all fit in one of the new options. Um, sad to not be using this, but excited to pull it out for next winter. And if you do have a bag that this will sit in the bottom, I highly, highly recommend it. So um, that is this what's in my bag video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, make sure and give me a thumbs up below and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss future miss future content. Thanks so much, everybody, and I'll see you next time.